hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am gonna show you how to do this cali lily so this has took me a while to get used to doing i'm still not perfect but i thought i would show you guys how far i have got with my one stroke training so i'm just going to put some purple and some white on there put some water and i'm going to take my slant brush so i'm just going to wet that slightly so on the longest part i'm going to put the lighter color so in this case white and then on the short side i am going to put the purple i'm going to blend this on my arm on my arm on my hand so i'm just gonna twist that brush and get them blended okay so I've done a few here so this is what i do so i'll just bring that down so the first shape you put your brush on press it in and then bend the bristles round so i do it on like this plastic wallet like i've said so if you keep if you do a line and just keep going across you can do loads of practice runs of this so I'll just keep going let's see if i can show you how we hold the brush this way so you put it on upright press it in and then when you bring the brush rolls brush rolls bristles you bring it round and then bring the point back down into the middle so let's see if we can get a better angle on press go around and back down so that's that side and then you do exactly the same on the other side but obviously it's towards the other side so i'm going to put the brush on press it slightly and bring it round so i'm just going to do a few that way I mean, they're never going to be the same. Well, they might do after a few years' practice, but... So I'm just going to keep loading my brush up on my hand. Make sure they're blended. Okay. So press and bring it round. Press and bring it round. So again, you can just keep going across on this paper and practice that that one. So once you've mastered all these, it, that's the only three that you need to do a Cali Lily. So this one is just like, you put your brush on, it's like a U. So you just press in and go around. Press in, go up. So down, up. Down, up. Like so. So once you've done that and you can practice and keep going as many times as you want. So I'm just going to get this ready and loaded again to show you how to put it all together. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one of these you start with. So I, I always start with right hand side. So light colour to the top. Put the brush on. Press slightly bring it round and back on itself so you you're left with that shape so then go to a thick first point press your brush on and go to the opposite side so you're left with that shape when that one and that one's put together makes that shape for you so obviously you have to let that dry so while i'm letting that dry i'll just do a couple more just to show you so press and bring round press and bring round so it's all about the angles of your brush and your pressing so let's get some more paint on because it's drying so fast today press into one side like there's the, the purple has just dried 
So let's put a bit more paint on. Too much purple on there now, guys. Okay, let's try that one. So, press on to one side. Exactly the same point and bring it round. Let's see if I can show you this one. So, I'm going to start with the right hand side. So, I'll put on, press, bring round starting point press and bring round so it's not on. so you, like these ones if you're not happy we are blend all you've got to do is go back in so i'm just going to blend this a little bit better this time and then go back over what you've just done just to Make that a bit darker and more defined. So, practice these shapes and then you just add them together to do that. Right, so, like I said, I've done one, so I'm going to clean my brush completely before I do it on here. Start afresh. So, longest part is the white, shortest part is the purple, and then I'm going to blend them. Let it go back out a little bit. So I'm going to do another one here. So I'm going to do it on an angle. So put your brush on, press round and that's purple you can barely see that with the color on the background not happy right let's let's just blend this purple a lot better see if i can make it lighter so you can actually see it okay that's better i hope so i'm going to go back onto the starting point bring that down round Now, can you see, I think this is going to take a few coats over this black, to be honest. So let's get this blended, blended in again. All right. going to let that dry completely now oh wait a minute guys do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to change that purple because i do think that is a little bit too dark for this nail and then the y is too much blended with that color so i'm just going to take another purple instead try this one this is the one that I used on this one, but I just thought I'd use the darker one, but it didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Might actually be able to show you this time. So white on the longer bit, purple on the shorter bit. So you can see the colour there, it's a lot better is this lighter one. You don't have to mix it as so much, and you can leave more of the white in the centre. So, we'll put that on. Press it in and bring it down that side. Go back on, bring it down this side. So I'm a lot happier with that one. So while that's drying, I'm just gonna blend them again. Can you see how fast it's drying though? Even on my glove, it's like, it's dry. We could all do with some air con in his houses at minute in Great Britain. 
Okay, so I'm going to go over this one again. So press, bring it round and back down to that bottom part. So press again, swizzle it round and back down. So you're left with that to start with. So I'm going to have to let that dry now. So I may as well clean my brush while that's just drying a little bit better. Don't want to risk going in on this one till that has dried completely. So now I'm going to do the bottom part. So about halfway up, start your, put your place your brush and then do your U shape and you want it to join up to this side like so. See that? So put your brush on, do your U shape and make sure it joins up to this corner here. And there's your cowy lily. So I prefer this one much better to the one I did earlier. This one looks a lot nicer. So basically that is your cowy lily. So the next thing I can do, and I'm going to try it because I'm not, I always mess it up when I do this stage, but I'm going to try and detail it. So I'm just getting a fine detailing brush. But, well, I ain't got my scissors. Got my hair sticking out, which I know is gonna. There we go. Uh oh, well done. So I'm just making sure that that is really running. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna outline the cowy lily. So I'm gonna do. Both sides. See how fast that has dried. It's dried already. So I've added a little bit more water into that now just so it doesn't dry as fast. So I'm just going to come down like so. Go back in. And then I'm just going to I like the center piece. Can't believe how quick this is actually drying is this paint. And we'll go up to there. So that is that far. So let's get this brush cleaned right off. And then I'm just going to put a bit of yellow. And a tad of green. She says a tad and then it all comes flying out. I think I need a thicker brush for this part. Be honest. So I'm just going to take. This is a thicker brush than the than this one. This is really fine. Is this one from CJP? So for the middle part, I'm just going to put two dots. So I'm going to put a dot and then pull it down. A dot and pull it down for, I don't know what you call them, it's centre of flowers. So that is that part. And then, I'm just going to do, I might as well use the really thin brush, so I'm going to go into the green. I don't even know what a cali leaf looks like, but I'm assuming they're going to be on long stems. So...
don't know if that's how Kelly Lily stems look like, but that's how mine are looking. And then I'm just going to do, I think they're going to have long leaves. I don't know why, but that's what I think they will have. So I'm just going to do some long leaves coming up through the back. Probably ruin that now, but never mind. Don't ask me what this is, I just fancied putting some crisscrosses in. Right, so I need to let that dry. I think I did a bit of much overkill on that, but never mind. At least you know how to do the cali lilies. But maybe you will look out for the right leaves, I'm not sure. i just got a feeling they're going to be long. I don't know why, but while I'm doing that, I'm just going to clean all my brushes so that they don't go hard. Right guys, so that has dried, so I'm just going to top coat this. So before you top coat, when you've done any painting, make sure that has dried, otherwise you will drag it. All your design will be a mess. So that is it now top coat, so I'll just bung that in for a minute and then I will leave you with the finished look. So guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.